this free, just inside his own 45 metre line. Oh, it's a huge one. Richie Parman, it was difficult to contain it. 
and again the referee goes in and this time I think he's going to throw the ball in oh, it's been up and down the park one team getting back to within three points another team blowing it out to six and then back to three with a goal wonderful contest Tipperary trying to win possession here from inside their own 45 metre line but they've lost it to TJ Reid and the Kilkenny captain will be looking to let Kareem McCarthy come at the end of the contest by the time we reach 5 o'clock is fouled and it's going to be a free in for the Cats and the referee wants to do a little bit of talking he's uh, calling across Shane McGrath that was, that was a harmless tackle. He's going to give me out of car. Jackie Turner from the charge. Black book. You know, there's no consistency in that. I'm sure the referee knows his name pretty well, but he asked for it anyway. And Shane McGrath gave it. And now he gets a yellow card. I told him he was by that. They were strange. Free into Kilkenny at the end of it. Richie Power will take it. raised their intensity during in the last you know they look to be just set really into the game it's been so fast so furious to very have been moving on with this pack in most of the tracks and I think it's taken really well to get up to that intensity all of a sudden six points and now back to two points and I have to say that uh, they've been helping one in the half time you know like Tipperary maybe haven't dominated most of the first time. There were two points between the teams going in at half time last year also it was Kilkenny who led them by 30 points to 11. John Dalton catches that brilliantly Back up to the forwards, you can afford to hit it in towards Richie Carr in the form he's in. Not to mention Malcolm Rice, who wants to raid. Normally a midfield player, but we've seen him play in the half forwards in the past, and he's done a right good job here. Feeling the pain a little bit of that as he went forward courageously, made it his. There'll be an added one minute of play at the end of the opening 35 minutes, where the teams have created 28. Scoring chances, Kilkenny creating 15 and Tipperary 13. It's advantage Tipperary, but only by two points right now. And it'll be narrowed to one if this goes over. Dirty, the attendance of Richie Power again there. You know, high ball in, Paul Gordon has been doing well in here. Up to the it down, and Michael Rice on a true foul, and another easy enough free and expect to tap it over the bar. Maximum care as well he might, because he's now got a goal and six points. The six points have come from Freeze. Once he took over that draw from Henry Shefflin, the goal after 32 minutes. Henry with a smile on his face, the short puck out made once again by Tipperary. Paddy Stapleton bottled up. Now they've got to be clever in their use of possession as the referee blows his whistle at the end of the first half where the crowd rises to the two teams Richie Power has been the scorer in chief for Kilkenny who played against the wing for the opening 36 minutes as a happened they'll be much happier I think going in because they'll have that win behind them Owen Kelly got four points, all of them from freeze. Henry Shefflin went off with an injury after just about 15 or a little under 15 minutes with the return of the knee problem once again that's plagued him in recent weeks. And at half time here at Croke Park in the 122nd All Ireland hurling final, there's just a point between these teams. Half time score it's Tipperary, one goal and ten points. Kilkenny, one goal. Just a point, we knew it was going to be close. Back here in our Pro Park studio, we have Cyril Farrell, Thomas McCahey and Gerald Adnan. Cyril, tip, I suppose you have to say, did 70% of the hurling in that first half? Just a point, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be nice to give Kinney, probably did 80%. Great game of hurling. Tip took the game to, to Kilkenny straight away. Got on top, but one stage by Dublin scores. Henry went off there early on. Kilkenny seemed to be kind of a disarray goal over. But typically, Kilkenny is a hung in. But the hurling and the scores got by Tipperary from Long Range have been unreal. They've been really up for the game, and they are up for it. But like Kilkenny are going in, and even though they're a pint on at half time, Brian Cody kind of said, Look, lads, we didn't turn at all. We got some people. Well, yeah, if Cheney won't be happy, there should be a lot more up than the one pint, but still they're a pint ahead, and it's still all to pay for. But like Kilkenny will be the happier of the two because they were completely beaten for a lot of that game, and yet they're only a pint out. I know, that's what they're like, isn't it? We're going to take a short break. Further reflection coming up on the other side of the break. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. 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 Thank
working on that first half in a few minutes. Now also here. I'm pinching your head. I'm pinching your head. I'm pinching your head. I'm pinching your head. I'm pinching your head.